located in northern Wales, perched upon a rocky promontory. Conway Castle, a 13th century stronghold fortification built by King Edward I during his conquest of Wales between 1283 and 1287. Edward saw that the key to victory in solidifying his rule in rebellious and hostile Wales would lie in the construction of English castles, manned by English troops and controlled by trusted lords and loyal barons. The construction of Conway Castle became part of a wider project of castles being built throughout Wales. The string of castles became known as the Iron Ring of Strongholds, commissioned to establish the king's dominance and control over Wales. Like many of the castles in Wales built by King Edward at the time, the construction project of Conway Castle was overseen by Master Mason James of St. George. The construction of Conway Castle became the most expensive building project in all of Wales, costing around £15,000, which was a massive sum for the period. Over the next few centuries, the castle played an important part in several wars. In 1294, Conway Castle was briefly besieged by Mad Dog Llewellyn during a period of Welsh rebellion against the English authority. In 1399, it served as a refuge of King Richard II from the forces of his cousin, Henry Bolingbroke. And in 1401, the castle was held for several months by forces loyal to Owen Glendower, a Welsh military commander. Conway Castle is a very impressive and imposing structure with large stone walls, eight massive round towers and four turrets, two fortified barbicans with drawbridge and portcullis, makes mounting an attack on the castle extremely difficult. The castle also has two baileys, known as the inner and outer wards. The inner ward was originally separated from the outer ward by an internal wall, a drawbridge, and a gate protected by an artificial ditch cut into the rock. The inner ward housed the king and queen and their servants and members of their household. The outer ward housed the military garrison alongside a feasting banquet hall. Today, Conway Castle is open to the public to visit. Though now a shell of its former glory, the structure of Conway's many different rooms may still be explored guests can immerse themselves in what was a thriving stronghold. Hello all, and I hope everyone is having a great day, morning, evening, or night, depending on whenever you may be watching this. I just wanted to come on here, and hopefully, if you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you, and I really appreciate you. I know that this one is a bit of a longer video, so I hope you don't mind too much. I really did try to keep it as short as possible. It was a lot going on with this build and it could be tough to uh, edit over 40 hours of build down to just a few minutes of video. So again, I hope you guys don't mind too much that the video is a couple of more minutes longer than usual. But I did really enjoy building this castle. I really loved the style of it and I didn't have a whole lot of material and references of how this castle would have looked in its medieval heyday at least not as much as I might have liked when doing these kinds of historical builds. So I did have to put some of my own creative reimagining onto it, but I have to say, I think it came out great and I'm super proud with how it turned out. Anyways guys, that's enough out of me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the time lapse and stick around for the cinematic at the end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would be so kind. And until next time, farewell.